Howard Stern called out Johnny Depp for overacting while Depp testified against Amber Heard during the former couple's defamation trial, which has been live streamed on various platforms since April 11th. Depp is suing Heard for defamation after she alluded to their alleged abusive relationship in an op-ed piece written for the Washington Post. Heard's legal team reportedly tried to block cameras from live streaming the trial, which was approved by Judge Penny Ascarate. Depp's team did not publicly challenge the decision. Stern says, quote, The reason he wanted that on, he wanted it televised because that's what narcissists do. End quote. Stern said of Depp while discussing the trial on his Sirius XM radio show, quote, They think they can talk their way out of anything. I think Johnny Depp is a huge narcissist, and what I mean by that is, he figured, I'll put this on TV, and because I'm so persuasive and because I'm so smart, I'm such a wonderful guy, I'll play you some clips from the Johnny Depp trial. If he isn't acting, I mean, he's so overacting because he's writing his own material as he goes along. You know, I gotta tell you, he's wrong. He shouldn't be putting this on TV in any shape, end quote. Stern agreed with his co-host Robin Quivers that the trial will not save Depp's career. Quote, that's what narcissists do. I will charm the pants off of America at the trial. No, you won't. This will not go well. It's not going well for you. It's not going well for her. It's not going well for anybody. You sound like two battling children. It's just coming off really badly. Johnny Depp testified in court for two days last week. Two days. Think about that. Lots of room to embarrass yourself. Two full fucking days. First of all, his difficulty in speaking the English language is fantastic. And the accent. First of all, isn't he from like the south of the Midwest? Johnny Depp was born in Kentucky. Does that sound like a guy from Kentucky? End quote. Depp's cross-examination concluded April 25th. Heard has testified the past two days last week. We'll keep you informed.